to start writing SQL, how do we set up a database on our local system and downloading the tools that we we'll need for this course? To get started, you basically need three tools to be able to kind of get started in this course. But the other one, you can actually add it as well to kind of query your data from another tool and see how effective these tools can be. And you can also design teams. So the first tool we need is SQL Server, which is the database itself. So we're going to download SQL Server on our machine. Then we need XSS, which is a SQL Server Management Studio, which is like the editor that will allow you to write all your query and your code. We're also going to download Azure Data Studio. It is also an editor that can allow you to kind of write your code, query your databases, and then work faster. First, we're going to download the SQL Server. So to download SQL Server, you can type SQL Server on Google. When you do that, you will see this link, the link here, SQL Server Download. When you click on this link, you will see SQL Server on Azure, SQL Server at the end, just ignore all this and scroll to the end. So here you kind of have two different kinds of downloads. You can download this developer or Express. Both of them can actually work for this course. So you can download any of them, but I would recommend for this course, you download a developer one. The Express is kind of for enterprise, but for practice, you can actually download the developer version. So to download, you click on download now. And once you do that, it's going to download straight into your uh, computer. It's going to download straight into your computer. So I'm going to run this. So I'm going to run this. And then once I click on run for this, I have SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition. So here you have basic, custom, and download media. For the one you basically need for this course is basic. You don't need to customize. You can actually do some customization or even download some media into your SQL Server. But for now, let's just start with basic. So you click on basic. Once you click on basic, you click on accept. You click on accept and you continue the installation of the SQL Server on your device. Once this installation is done and it's successful, there's basically no icons that's going to be on your desktop, on your PC somewhere, but just know that the SQL Server has been downloaded right there in your system. The way you know, if you go to the tax bar on your PC and you search for SQL Server, I'm sure you're going to see the SQL Server 2022. That shows that it has been installed on your PC. So let's go and download the second tools that we need. The second one is XXMS. So once you also type XXMS on Google, you will see this download SQL Server Management Studio. So click on it. Once you click on it, you will scroll down a bit and you will see download SQL Server Management Studio XXMS. The links to all these downloads are also in the descriptions of this video. So you can go to the description and also click on the link. So once I click this, it's going to download right there to my PC and on my PC, I can select this particular download and start installing it right away. So let me go to my download and I think this has finished downloading XSMS setup unknown, which is this one. And I can actually click on this right now. Once I click on it, you will see installed and I will click install on my device. The top tools I need is Azure Data Studio. So Azure Data Studio, if you type Azure Data Studio on Google as well, you will see download and install Azure Data Studio. So when you click on that, you can actually scroll down a bit to Windows. So we have Windows, we have Mac, and we also have Linux. So you can scroll down here and click on Azure Data Studio User Installer for Windows. So once you click on this, it's going to download that onto your PC. And then once that is finished downloading, you can click on it, install, and follow the installation process on your device. So this is how the SSMS actually look like. And this is how it's going to open on your PC. Once you do this, automatically you should have a server name here because you've installed SQL Server already. So it's basically going to be your device name. Most of the time, if you can't see this, just click on this drop down, and I'm sure you should see the server name here. Or basically the server name should be here by default. And then the authentication basically is window authentications, right? You don't need to change that. Then you click on connect. Once you click on connect, you are going to see databases, security, server, replication, management, and the other tools here. Also, when you've installed the Azure Data Studio, this is how the Azure Data Studio is going to look like when you open this Azure Data Studio on your device. So I can actually close this. All these new features here, I can close them here. So basically, 
from your welcome page, you can actually start with create a connections. You can run a query, you can create a notebook and deploy a server. So if I click on create a connections, I can connect directly to my same server. So remember that my server, Adewale Analyst, right? I already have it here uh, being connected. I can even select it from here or I can actually just um, put the name of the server here and click on connect. And it's also going to connect to my Azure Data Studio.